everybody. Ravage Chandler, Chandler Gaming, back here with the next episode of Mass Effect 3. Before I get in the video, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on those notifications so you can be notified of all my videos. That being said, I do gotta apologize to everybody. Um, this video, you know, at the I, I usually upload these videos every Tuesday. Um, it's just been so gosh darn busy around here. It's not even funny. Um, some good news. I started a checking account. It's been years since um, I had a bank account. And, 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 and. If I can get it out of here. I got me I got me my license I don't wonder why this wasn't what, is there a tag in there or what do we got here I wonder why I was having trouble getting that in and out But no, after two and a half years, I finally got my license. So very happy about that. Um, I ended up having to take the vision test, the written test, and the driving test to get my license because it was expired for so long. Um, that's what the state, state of Illinois made me do. Um, but other than that, it went smooth, went to the DMV really cool how they modernized everything out here you know we live out i live out in the middle of nowhere and so the dmv we have out here really isn't that big it doesn't need to be that big but it it's one of the um dmvs that the state of illinois kind of looks the other way at because it's in a such a remote location that um it, they just don't feel that they need to allocate funds to it but we went to the, I went to the DMV. Well, I say we, my mom and I went because I had to use her car for the driving test because it was insured and street legal. So, um, I had to use her car to do the driving test. But anyway, um, when we get there, they took, they used to have like these desks for like the tabletop desks that you'd find at school. They were for the written test, you know? Well, they took those out. The written test now is not actually a written test. It's a touchscreen um, test. And yeah, it, it was really cool. It was really cool how um, they modernized all that. So it, I had 35 questions. I could miss up to seven, but I only missed two. So I did really good on my written test. Okay, what are we doing here? Oh, I know what we're doing here. We just finished dealing with Cerberus here on Citadel. Commander Shepard, Kalisa Bint seen in Algelani. Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best? I've had enough of your tabloid journalism. Not this time, you. Ugh! You're angry. I get that. But I came here to get help for Earth, not answer your questions. Stay down. Yeah, bitch. Heavy losses are mounting as human colonies Elysium, Tiptree, and Zeus. What the hell are we doing all the way out here? Huh. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. Let's take a look here. Cortez is the viewing deck. Inpatient stain. And then we need to go to the comments. We got a lot to do here. But anyway, like I said, at the DMV, it was it went really smooth. I I swear to God, I was only there for like 30 minutes.
it, it was just amazing how I was pretty much in and out, you know. Okay. Need to make more money. From across the Milky Way, this is the Alliance News Network. Okay, so where are we going first? We're going to the Norman. We'll hit that on the way back. We'll hit the hospital first before we go to the commons. So we can talk to Thane. The Nimbus Cluster and the Selian Nebula. They hit where? How are we supposed to predict the moves of an enemy we don't understand? Mm -hmm. Cyber 2. Do we have any AI enabled fragments? Spectre status any recognized. Please select One them. moment, please. Oh, I didn't mean to go there. I don't know why I just went there. When I just said we were going to the hospital. <laughs> That's okay. Now arriving at docking bay D24. That's okay. I've got your briefing, Private. Let's fill you in before the squad arrives. Yeah. There is Cortez, there he is. You finally made it off to Normandy. Glad I did. Even with the chaos of all the refugees, seeing so many ships in flight is comforting. Gets me thinking. Hey, a Turian frigate. I think that's the PFS Havenkal. What's one Turian warship doing at the Citadel? Looking for dry dock, I bet. She's seen battle. Look at the waiver in her drive core emissions. Alone, limping, looking for a haven. Maybe it would have been better to just go down fighting, like their families back home. The lives of future generations rest on those Turian shoulders. On our shoulders. Nobody is giving up. Not those Turians. Not me. Not you. If anyone can pull this all together, it's you. Is that an Alliance cruiser? What's it doing here? That's the SSV London. Decommissioned years ago. Look, no guns. Refugees must have salvaged her from a shipyard. Geneva-class cruisers always had ESO cores like granite. People find a way to survive. Do whatever it takes to see another day. <sighs> Gotta let go. For real this time. The refugees here put up a memorial wall. They leave mementos of lost loved ones. I was thinking maybe... What's stopping you? Nothing. I mean... Let me think about it. Okay. But yeah, it, it's so nice having my driver's license. It really is. It, you know, I, I let it go for a couple years because, um... Please select the destination. One moment, please. Just to save my mom money, because I take care of my mom. And um, to save her money, I was like, you know what? Don't worry about my license. Don't worry about my truck. No. Um, Memorial Hospital. No. I can, here too. I can um, make do, you know? Have enough volunteers. Well, then I caught her. Um, Welcome to Serta. Paying my sister's bills. Thank you for sharing. And I was like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm not. I'm not. Um, I'm not sacrificing anymore. Can I help you? I'm looking for a drill named Thane Krios. Well, we have a drill, but not under that name. He was injured, stab wound. He's a regular patient here. It's all right, it's all right. I see. The doctors were able to repair a lot of the trauma. However, Mr. Mm. Krios is in the final stages of Keppel's syndrome. At its worst, Keppel's syndrome interferes with his blood's ability to carry oxygen, and he lost a lot. 
Now they've given him transfusions, but frankly, there was a very limited supply of Drell blood on the Citadel. I'll get more. Give me his blood type. That's not going to work. Only one other Drell on the station is a match, and that Drell is in with him now. We did all we could to help him through surgery, but his body can't replace lost blood with new cells. Too much shock. His son, Koliat. He's in there saying his goodbyes. You might want to say yours. Commander Shepard, my father mentioned you were no longer incarcerated. I don't know if you remember me. I'm Koliak Krios. I came to donate blood and, well, he asked me to take off his oxygen mask so he could be comfortable. I don't think it will be very long. Your father helped me save a lot of lives. I'd like to be here. Of course. Commander, I'm afraid I won't be joining you again. You've done more than enough, Vane. That assassin should be embarrassed. A terminally ill Drell managed to stop him from reaching his target. I'll pass the word along. There is something I must do before it gets worse. I must... Alahira, <coughs> mistress of inscrutable depths, I ask forgiveness. Kalahira, whose waves wear down stone and sand. <coughs> Kalahira, wash the sins from this one and set him on the distant shore of the infinite spirit. <coughs> Koliad, you speak as the priests do. You have been spending time with them. I brought a prayer book. Commander, would you care to join me? Kalahira, this one's heart is pure, but beset by wickedness and contention. Guide this one to where the traveler never tires, the lover never leaves, the hungry never starve. Guide this one, Kalahira and he will be a companion to you as he was to me. Kolyat? There's something I don't understand. His last moments were those of a hero. Why pray for salvation? The prayer was not for him, Commander. He has already asked forgiveness for the lives he has taken. His wish was for you. Goodbye, Thane. You won't be alone long. That's not what we do. We help our patients, all of them. That's a nice sentiment, but it won't help when we run out of supplies. I've seen this happen in combat before. And we will run out of supplies. Have you seen the projections the administration center made? I have. The situation is going to get worse. What's your point? We can't deny the facts. If we prioritize them, some of our patients are in a much better position to survive. If we take care of them first and ration our supplies, we can save some now and enable ourselves to save more later. We cannot do that. We swore an oath to help the sick regardless of their economic situations or their places in society. Who are we to choose who lives or dies? That's not what we do. We help our patients, all of them. That's a nice sentiment, but it won't help when we run out of supplies. We're fighting right now to protect the people you're talking about. If you let these people die... It's not that simple. If we aren't careful about this now, we'll end up losing everyone. Then we'll find a way. Look, we have more fortunate patients, right? Yes, and I hate to say it, but the fortunate ones have far better survival odds. <laughs> and more credits. So we ask them for donations, to get more supplies. 
for those without credits. What? Are you saying what I think you're saying? That's... You know, that, that actually might work. Okay. While the Alliance takes heavy losses, Turian troops have been bolstered by Krogan's support on... Joker's in the lower bar of Purgatory, so we'll go to Purgatory next. No, I forgot to tell you something, too, about my license and all that. Uh, my mom, now that I got my license, she was able to get me insured on her car. How's the head? Good. Concussion's almost gone. Good. When I heard you, it was stupid. Oh, there he is. Look at this. All it took was a Cerberus attack on the Citadel to get folks around here to pay attention to the war. How is this any different from normal? Can't you see the desperation? This isn't happy dancing. This is forget my problems dancing. Look at the arms. If a guy waves his arms like that, he's worrying about a lot more than looking stupid on the dance floor. That's surprisingly observant. I've had time to watch a lot of dancing from the sidelines. Speaking of which... Dancing? Watching from the sidelines. What do you think about me and Edie? Why not? Because I could break a bone just from some light over the clothes action? That's always a risk. But then so are the Reapers. Yeah, I wasn't planning on dating Harbinger. You know what I mean. If we all ended up dead this time tomorrow, what would you regret? Getting a shattered pelvis and a broken heart. Such a stupid idea. If you could be out there right now on the dance floor, would you be waving your arms? Yeah. Sounds like you've got bigger things to worry about than looking stupid. Yeah, guess I do. Now, if you'll excuse me. Uh, okay. Yeah, Edie's here, too. Oh, I forgot about Jack. Jack's here. Ugh, this sucks. What have you got there? Duty roster for the students. It's what I do for fun now. They've got us spread out across Alliance units. Reinforcing barriers, modding ammo, that kind of thing. How are they holding up? They're fine. They're not the ones reading duty rosters while on shore leave. Complain if you like. But I think military life suits you. Hey, running back to the Alliance was your lifelong dream, not mine. Come on, plenty of combat, free room and board, and people you can depend on. Yeah, yeah, maybe your little suicide squad taught me something about teamwork. Speaking of which, thanks. My guys are handling the support stuff well. Still see some action, but they're not on the front lines. They've saved a lot of lives. It'd be a hell of a lot more fun with you. You find bigger fights. But the little shits are useless without me. I gotta stick with them. Cause I'm dependable now, apparently. I blame you for this, Shepard. Come on. What? The duty rosters can wait. Right now, you're on shore leave. Shepard, everybody knows you can't dance.
gonna give me a mission. No, they weren't. Okay. Here we go. But no, I, I was saying though, too, I keep getting off track here. It's my ADHD. Um, now arriving at Presidium Commons. My mom, she got me insured. I recovered the Book of Plenics. It's waiting for you in Bay D24. Earth Clan, this is a priceless gift. Thank you. Welcome to Elkos Combine Arsenal Supplies. Themselves. Don't be left out in the cold. Ask well, by that. Warranties. Any opened goods can only be returned for store credit. Elkos Combine. If it exists, we carry it. Any opened goods can only be returned for store credit. Elkos Combine. If it exists, we carry it. You know what? I'm going to have some fun with this executioner pistol. I am going to have some fun with it. Any opened goods can only be returned for store credit. Yeah, I'm gonna have some fun with it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna have some fun with it. Thank you. If it I bet you we can mod it and make it where. My Listen, I of No, we can't wait until I'm back on duty. The Hesperian Union. Their statues have legendarily accurate Prothean inscriptions. Can we use that? My money is gone. Yes, I know the Athena Nebula is off limits, but this... But yeah, I keep getting off track about the insurance. My mom got me insured on her car. And it only costed her an extra $4.50 a month. And it's like, wow, what the hell? Well, I got thinking about it. It's like, I'm 35, going to be 36 in a few days. And it's like, you know what? It's probably because I'm over 35 is why I'm Commander. not having to pay as much. We're not having to pay as much for insurance. Sec. I'm putting together a task force to stop the Blue Suns myself. I'll get you your weapons, General. I appreciate the effort, but I've spent too much time out of action, Commander. Won't be able to sit on my hands much longer. Welcome to the Citadel gift shop. All proceeds. Okay. People have a right to defend themselves. If you start selling weapons to everyone on the Citadel, CSEC will shut this whole place down. CSEC couldn't protect us when Cerberus attacked. I'll take him to court. You think a court is going to want more people running with guns right now? Then I'll go to the wards and sell from the back room at Purgatory. People are already scared. If you violate weapons laws, they'll just be scared and trigger happy. We're at war. If the Citadel gets attacked again, everybody needs to fight. The commander's right. It's not like those Reaper things care about hurting civilians. But selling weapons to just anyone makes it easier for groups like Cerberus to get a hold of them. You're back, huh? Any luck out there? Here. I've got some pieces for you. Done deal, Commander. Check in with General Oraka. You'll see I'm making CSEC very happy. Just be careful. Okay, there we go. And then we'll need to go back to... Viara's over here. Hello, Shepard. Welcome to the Citadel gift shop. All proceeds from today's purchases go to the Turian War effort. And then we need to talk to Araka again. 
Commander Shepard, I was just contacted by a black market dealer who's donating high-end weapons to CSEC. He wanted you to know. Sounds like you came through. And the Blue Suns can go about their business. Now we'll be focusing on Citadel defense. It won't bring Palavan back, but it's something. Thank you, Commander. After obtaining a cure to the genophage, Krogan leaders... Check the journal here. Okay. Now we need to go back to the Spectre office, it looks like, because I'm going to be doing a bunch of running here, it looks like. <clears throat> Spectre status recognized. One moment, please. Okay. Okay, so now we got everything at the Spectre Requisitions. Now we can go to the refugee camp, deal with that Tarion. Okay, I think we're okay here. Spectre status. Ready. Um. Please select one it. moment, please. I don't know who to turn in the Turian schematics to. Now arriving at 
arriving at Docking Bay E-24, Emergency Civilian Housing. The galaxy needs to understand what these refugees have been through. Wait, aren't you Commander Shepard? Solik Vas, documentary maker. Please, maybe you can help. I'm trying to document the stories of the refugees coming to the Citadel. Their loss, their sacrifices, their moments of bravery. Something holding you back? CSEC won't allow me on the docks. They say I'd be disruptive. But you could catch a few quick shots for me. Good idea. The galaxy should see what these refugees have been through. Thank you, Commander. That's exactly what I'm hoping for. If you could just take a few shots with your Omni-Tool in the refugee camp. I'll be here when you're done. Okay. So, the reason I don't talk very much in these videos, too, I try to talk as much as I can, but... A lot of it, it's just my ADHD. My mind, my brain just shuts down when I play video games. So when I like go off topic or go all over the place, that's what it is. What are you doing here? I'm waiting. Yes, that's just what this documentary needs. Hey, Commander. Great shot. James, enjoying yourself? Yeah, yeah. Try not to lose everything. Those clothes are a lion's property. I have a little faith, Loco. I have a little. About time. Okay. I can give you the location of some ruins. Protheum, on Gay Hinnom, the Hades Vexus. If you can get past the reboot tools, I'm sure you'll find something to die That's got to be nice. Hey, I've assumed full control of Eclipse, and we're committed to moving forward with Aria. You have a copy of a Shepard VI? Oh, yeah. The one based on that war hero? We locked it after some kid spilled soda over the hardware. I'll unlock it, but we've only got the demo version working. Good to meet you. I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Shepard, you saved my life again. What happened? Cerberus troopers came through here to secure the docks. They lined us all up. Then... One of them started asking around for me by name. But they didn't find you. Their record said I went off grid. If I hadn't changed my identity, I don't know what would have happened. Thank you. Okay. State Arms. Thank you for your patience. Pressure's okay. No infection so far. Can I talk to him? Only if it's important, Commander. He's hurt bad. Take down the sedative a bit, but hurry. I peg his survival at 50 50. Are you Gorek? <sighs> Go away. Nothing to say. Not even what a terrorist is doing on the Citadel? You! Do I know you? <laughs> Every Batarian with someone on Aratok remembers your face. The planet that got caught in the Alpha Relay explosion. You butcher the colony, only regret... <laughs> Don't have the strength to... I destroyed Eratot's relay to stop the Reapers from pouring through. Pah! Easy for you to claim now that they're here. Don't pretend you have any remorse. No one here would even be alive if I hadn't destroyed that relay. I spent months taking heat for Eratot from both the Alliance and the Batarians. And you know what? If it saved the entire galaxy, I can live with that just fine. Then why don't you...
Okay. Okay, we got all that. Spectre status Do we need to talk to Arya again? About all three of those mercenary groups? Now that we got all those missions done? back Omega. I've been consolidating my resources for the war. It's a little easier to coordinate from here. So unfortunately, I'll be slumming it on the Citadel for the time being. The Blue Sun's blood pack and Eclipse are in my pocket. I'll send them to war when you're ready for them. Is there anything on your mind? What exactly have I acquired? An army that's willing to fight dirty to do the things your respectable militaries won't do. Eclipse mechs and Vorcha legions are excellent candidates for vanguards in any ground offensive. Well worth the little song and dance I had you perform, I'm sure. Whatever you say, Arya. Don't be a stranger. Okay. I didn't know if we need to talk to Arya or not. Apparently we don't. Okay, so we're gonna get out of here, it looks like, finally. Well, no, we're not. Well, technically, yes, because I have to, um, leave the Citadel just to go to where I'm going. Vector status recognized. One moment, please. Now arriving at docking bay D-24. No, I don't know if I told anyone this. Um, have you discovered? Told you all this. spaceships without an ESO core private to I used to have one of those Brita pitchers. Well, it wasn't Brita; it was pure. And you just put the water in the top. And hey, it's Ashley Williams. Shepard, I don't know what to say. I'm trying to go over everything in my head, make sense of it. I never wanted to put you in that situation. We're on the same side. I can't believe it came to that. We were so close to... Ash, it's okay. We figured it out. We stopped Adina and got to walk away. That's the important part. I can't believe he was responsible for all of it. Was he indoctrinated? It's hard to say. How do we fight something that can worm its way into your head? I don't know. But we don't have a choice. I wanted to talk to you about that. Hackett asked me to join his team. It's a great offer, but I'd prefer to ride this thing out aboard the Normandy. Permission granted. Couldn't do this without you. I'll grab my gear. And Ash? Yeah? It's good to have you back. Yes, sir. Well, bang, okay? <laughs> But no, um, I was talking about my water situation because I drink more water than soda anymore. Shepard, I got Anderson patched in. I was just getting him up to speed. Odina? That SOB was always power hungry. But this? He wasn't in charge. Cerberus was just using him to take control of the Citadel. What the hell for? I don't know. Not yet. Could have been a lot worse. Shepard stopped the assassination attempt on Counselor Valorn. Kyle, I... What? Your assassin. I'll have Hackett send you my reports on him. I take it you two have met. K-9 
Keely Sanders and I had our share of run-ins with him. I shot him in both legs once. Thought that might be the end of him. But he showed up again on Omega, even stronger. Elusive man patch him up? That'd be my guess. Given what they were able to do with you and Grayson, it's a safe bet Lang's even more dangerous now. I'll take whatever advantage I can get against these bastards. Their attempts may have had at least one unintended side effect. I received word from the Asari counselor. They're requesting an update on the Crucible. Lang has them scared. Enough to send help? Hmm. Yes, the Asari and Solarians are both throwing in their support now. How's your progress on the Crucible? Good. Our estimates suggest we've completed nearly 50% of the known work. So quickly? Once decoded, the schematics are designed in such a way that allows our scientists to easily translate the information. It's not Prothean specific. Hmm. Are we any closer to understanding how to use it? That's still open for debate. Utilized in the right fashion, our scientists are convinced it can generate enough energy to destroy the Reapers. The question is, how will it dispense the energy? And in what form? You mean, how do you stop it from wiping us all out? Exactly. We think the catalyst is the key to determining how to focus its energy, how to direct its energy at the Reapers alone. I'm working on that. You'll find the answer, Shepard. I'll send you an update on the schematics. And in the meantime, we'll keep building. And we'll keep fighting. Make sure there's an Earth left to come back to. You've always trusted me. I won't let you down. We're still in this. The gods of war haven't given up on us yet. Good luck, both of you. Anderson out. Commander, the Tyrian fleet is stretched thin. We need more support ships. And the Quarians are willing to talk. Understood, sir. I'll look into it. Be careful. We've got reports of instability along the Geth border. Hack it out. Okay. Shepard, do you have a moment? A contact within Asari High Command was insistent I pass on a distress signal to you. Something they can't handle? From what I can tell, they sent several commando squads to investigate. None of them returned. They didn't ask me directly, but I think High Command is hoping you might help. What's your take on this? That they wouldn't ask for help if it wasn't important. The colony's coordinates are on the galaxy map. I'll try to figure out what's going on. Okay. Let me see who's who. I think we need to talk to Ashley. Goddamn Cerberus bastards. And Udina too. Commander, I've got a lead on something interesting. Have you got a minute? Commander, I found something you need to see. What have you got? A group of Cerberus scientists cut ties and fled. Perhaps they finally realized they were on the wrong side. We don't know what they were researching, but they were among the elusive man's top scientists. They could help build the Crucible. Maybe we could recruit them. Lots of Cerberus people think they're doing the right thing. I know I did. And you were right, Commander. Whatever crimes Cerberus is committing now, I was on Horizon when the Collectors attacked. Really? You'll recall I mentioned growing up in the Terminus systems. I was visiting my family at home. While the Alliance was running studies, you were saving me and my family. Has the Alliance tried to make contact with the scientists? They've been unable to find them, but they're searching. As is Cerberus. I've been monitoring Cerberus communications. I've charted signal frequency from various Cerberus cells by location and cross-referenced known ship movements. You found them? I believe so, yes. Nice work. Put it on the map and I'll give it a look. It's on the map now, Commander. Thanks. Okay. <clears throat> I know we need to talk to Engineer Adams, too. Garrus is over here. Shepard. Hell of a day. Udina loses his mind. The Citadel almost falls. And you almost had to put down a friend. Got a little tense there. I heard what happened. 
If it had come down to it, could you have pulled the trigger? I don't see how. We start killing our friends and war turns into murder. But it doesn't always give us the easy way out, does it? At least Ash didn't have to join Caden. Let's hope he's looking out for us. This was his fight, too. Okay. Caden Lincoln. Okay, yep, there he is. Good to see you. Nothing. Make sure I don't have anything at the terminal. Per your orders, I have the latest reports on the council, Doctor. Their security is in disarray, but it would still be weeks before we could attempt to position any agents in their personal staff. And it's far too risky after Odina's coup. Postpone those deployments. At once. Yep, I thought so. We get power damage or health. We'll do health, because we don't use powers. Okay. Greetings, Commander. Engineering. Hey, it's Steve. I didn't know you could see the shuttle bay from engineering. That's so cool. I didn't know you could do that. Thanks, Commander. That GX-12 thermal pipe arrived. We're performing the modifications right now. So, how did I get volunteered to crawl through the ducts? You're the power control engineer, not me. Damn hot in here. Hey, didn't Adam say that all the Normandy is eating? Kenneth, stop right there. Just didn't tell Joker. He'll get jealous. Uh. What's down here in Jack's little hidey hole? Let's see. They get rid of the armory. They get rid of... They got rid of the armory, but they kept Jack's hidey hole. That just... Wait, isn't there one that, like... There was one down here. I guess not. I guess not. Okay. Must have been a glitch. Must have been a glitch. All right. Here we go. Let's take a look at the cargo holds. Breaking now, the Citadel in flames. A brazen attack by Cerberus, repelled by CSEC. Alliance Marines explain the Council Fleet's delayed response. We speak with the brave men and women who fought the good fight in the battle space. Commander, I've got some questions about the coup, but I'm online with my producer right now. Can we set up an interview in your cabin? We need to go to the cabin. Talk to her. Traitors are the worst form of enemy. In our cycle, we would remove their limbs one by one and offer them a choice. Eat their own flesh or starve. Your politician deserved far worse than a bullet. And if the other human had not seen reason, her death would be certain too. There is only one enemy in this war. Reapers. 
No others will be tolerated. Okay, we're going up to the cabin. Trainer, can you send Diana up? She wanted an interview. Right away, Commander. Ready for a chat, Commander? I'm ready. Commander, it's no secret that Council Space has suffered some serious losses to the Reapers lately. Now Cerberus has struck directly at the seat of our government. If something as small as a human terrorist organization can hit the Citadel, is anywhere safe? Cerberus has limited resources. This coup attempt was likely the best they could do, and it cost them a lot of money and troops. A little fear is understandable, but it can't paralyze you. They've failed as many times as they've succeeded. But humanity has lost its counselor. The Alliance Parliament is destroyed, and the Prime Minister's dead. The line of succession is getting pretty short. How long do you expect any new Alliance administration to last? Leaders will rise. You can't lose hope. Our enemies won't rest until they've taken the last human being. Until then, we're not beaten. Right now, it's everyone's duty to step up. All right. Now a question from Thessia. Commander, during your tribunal, some said you had Cerberus ties. Thanks for your time, Commander. This is Diana Allers for Battlespace. Good night and stay strong. Be careful, Commander. You keep feeding me like this, and I'll follow you home. Looks like you already have. What happens now? You gave me a good interview, Commander. That's all I need. Tonight. All the money they put into this game, and they still didn't get, you know, redoing the fucking um, graphics and shit. And they still didn't fix all the problems of Mass Effect 3. I mean, the fish are swimming out of the frickin' um, aquarium. Okay, then Admiral Hackett's order and shore leave, but we won't do that yet. Trainer, if you're not doing anything, I've got a few hours free. Would you like to come up? Your cabin is gorgeous. I've seen apartments smaller than this. Well, Commander, ready to play? Play? I picked up a chessboard on the Citadel. Gooey interface, not nearly as nice as real pieces, but this takes up less space. And I recall you delivered something that closely resembled a challenge. So, interested? This is a trap, isn't it? I'm just a simple lab scientist, Commander. I'm sure your real-world expertise will give you an edge. Come on. <laughs> my word, Commander. It's almost as though you wanted to spare your pawns the indignity of living under my regime. In real life, that tactic would have worked. Well, in real life, one doesn't move on an 8x8 square grid. You know what I mean. The pawns are infantry. A good infantry line, like the Krogan, can take a charge like that. That reminds me of a joke. 
What's the difference between Commander Shepard and a Krogan? One is an unstoppable juggernaut of head-butting destruction. And the other doesn't have a smart-ass comm officer to keep him in line. Ooh, that's even better than the number of testicles punchline. I'm glad you didn't run back to the lab, trainer. Thanks. So, rematch? Hell yes. Okay. James, I've got some time if you want to talk privately. On my way. Hey man, how's it going? Good, James. You? Good, good. Wow. So this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. You want your own ship, Vega? Yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. <laughs> you just come up here to make fun of your commander? Sorry, loco. I guess... Maybe I got some things on my mind. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. Shoot. What'd you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? I mean, was it a no-brainer for you, or did you think about it before accepting? The N7 program is a big deal, but it's also a big commitment. I hear that. You get the best training, best equipment, best assignments. And they expect the best in return. Yes, they do. Why you asking? Well, even all the shit that's going on, somebody somewhere managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. You don't sound too thrilled. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier's the only thing I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. Hell, I'd have kicked my ass out years ago. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone. And they promoted me for it. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. You mentioned that before. What went wrong? <sighs> what didn't go wrong? <sighs> we were out on patrol, checking on some strange readings, and the collectors hit. But they hit the colony first. By the time we got back, most of the colonists had been subdued or abducted, including our CO, Captain Tony. So you were in charge? Yeah. We laid low for a bit, waiting for a chance to strike, but before we could, we were betrayed. One of the colonists turned out to be a Cerberus spy working with the Collectors. I had no choice. I killed him and destroyed the Collector ship. But it got ugly. We lost most of the colonists and all but one of my squad. Not exactly a textbook operation. You can't blame yourself for being put in a tough situation. And if you were promoted, then something must have gone, right? Sure, but... If you'd saved them all, would things have worked out better? I... I don't know. I don't think so. The right choice is usually not the easy one. Yeah. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yeah. That's why I was asked. And it's why they asked you. There's not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed, either themselves or their soldiers at some point. So you think I should accept? Assuming we survive this, that's a no-brainer. You're a damn good soldier, Vega. Don't waste that opportunity. I'll think about it. Seriously. If you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Of course not. Gracias. Well, I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here are it's a little too soft for me. The bed's a lot harder than it looks. Now, I'll take your word for it. Thanks again, loco. Anytime. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, nothing else left. Okay, so we'll do um one we'll we'll look around the galaxy. Oh, she want Dr. Chakwas wants to speak to us in the medical bay. The uh, what does she want? speak with you, Commander. There you are. Commander, 
An opportunity has come to my attention that may interest you. What's going on, Doctor? Refugees arrived at the Citadel recently in possession of military-grade medical supplies and equipment. In reviewing our inventories, I determined we have an excess of medical supplies to treat contagion, exposure, and malnutrition. They're equipped to help injured soldiers, and we have supplies to help suffering refugees? Precisely. Perhaps you could ply your charms to broker a trade. I'll find the refugees as soon as I can. Speak with Tactus. Many of the refugees near the Citadel docks look to him for leadership. Thank you, Commander. With access to their equipment and materials, I believe I could increase the effectiveness of our Medigel. Okay. Find bonus powers. We're going to reassign our powers. Okay. The first thing we want is combat mastery. Okay. So we can do damage. We'll do weapon because we do weapon damage. We don't use power duration, so... We'll do squad bonus so they can do more damage. And we'll do weapon master because again, we don't use powers, so therefore we don't need to worry about recharge. Okay. Warp ammo is the one I use the most, so we'll we'll get it up to three. We'll get all my um ammos up to three. That way, then at least we have the power, or we have the ammos, I should say. Okay. Adrenaline Rush is one we want to get maxed. We're going to do um, health and shield. We're going to decrease the health and shield damage taken by 25%. So we're going to do the hardening. We're going to do power duration by 40%. And we'll do shield strength by 50% because we don't use powers because we're a soldier. So. Okay. Frag grenades, another one we need to get upgraded. Damage. Can do. We'll do radius. Max, we're going to do max grenades. And this one's going to be kind of hard. Do you want to do armor piercing or do you want to do shield overload? This one's kind of hard. We'll probably do armor piercing. Why not? Fitness is another one we need to get upgraded. There we go. Now. Beans, I don't use melee damage because I don't use shotguns. I'm going to use durability instead. And we're going to do shield recharge.
We're going to do fitness expert so we can increase the health and shield bonuses by 25%. Why not? Okay. Warp ammo we're going to max because I use it the most. We're going to do damage. Ammo capacity. And... This one's kind of hard. What do I want to do? Do I want to do health damage, armor damage, and barrier damage? Or do I want to do armor weakening and lifted? Nah, this one's kind of better damage. We'll do damage. Why not? Okay. Incinerary, we're going to do damage. Disruptor, we're going to do damage. Cryo, we're going to do freeze duration. Okay. Armor capacity, or ammo capacity. There we go. And I'm going to reassign everyone. I'm going to reassign everyone. Why not? Why not? I'm going to reassign everyone. That way everyone can have their powers reset and I can... I can set them up right. Uh, that's what I want to do. That is what I want to do. Why wasn't Javix on there? I don't know. The R wasn't on there either. What do you give? Weapon damage? Okay. Thought I could do it, but apparently not. That's okay. Oh, we did reset Liara's. Okay. Okay. We need to do something. So we're going to go to Dr. Bryson's lab. Why not? Doing the Leviathan is what we're doing. Update the map. They contact the field teams for a progress report. Yes, sir. Oh, Commander Shepard, we've been expecting you. Just a moment. And Hadley, could you gather the Leviathan data for us? Apologies, Commander. The rest of my team is out investigating leads right now. I'm Dr. Garrett Bryson, and this is Task Force Aurora. What's your assignment? Our mandate is to investigate legends, rumors, old stories about the Reapers before anyone knew they existed. Could have used your help three years ago. Yes. If people had paid more attention to your Prothean beacon, we might not be in this war. But now with new information we've uncovered, a breakthrough is near. Hadley, do you have the data? No! Commander 
Shepard. I need C-Sec at my location. Now! You shouldn't be here. The darkness can't be breached. Transit records show his name is Derek Hadley. He's worked here for a couple months. Shepard, I monitored a C-Sec alert from this location. Were you harmed? I'm fine. But I could use your help sorting this out, Edie. Take a look through their files. I need to know what this task force was up to. At once. What? I... What's happening? You tell me. I... I was gathering our data when you arrived, and then... It was dark. Cold. Like... I was someplace else. And then? I don't know! A gun was in my hand. Dr. Bryson, there was a loud... You shot Bryson. You killed him. No, I couldn't have. I'm not a murderer. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. You have to believe that. So someone else pulled that trigger? But I would never do that! Commander, this does resemble reports of indoctrination. Indoctrination? Me? What about that Leviathan Bryson mentioned? How does that tie in? It's some kind of creature. Our field teams have been tracking it. That artifact came in from our researcher, Garneau. He sent an audio log if you want to... What's wrong? Turn back. What are you talking about? The darkness cannot be breached. Damn it. Get him over to the clinic. See if they can tell us what's wrong with him. Yes, sir. Commander, you'll want to see this. It's an outgoing message from Dr. Bryson to Admiral Hackett. Dr. Bryson, you have an update? Admiral, the Leviathan of Dis that we've been investigating, I think we're really onto something. Give me the brief. About 20 years ago, the Batarians discovered a Reaper corpse that had died in battle. They covered it up and denied it ever existed. But I'm intrigued by the larger implication. What could have killed the Reaper in the first place? Exactly. That's the real Leviathan. It's worth pursuing. Continue your investigation and update me on the progress. There is also a follow-up message from a few weeks later. Admiral, the Reapers are shadowing my field teams as if they're hunting Leviathan themselves. Whatever it is, I believe Leviathan is nothing less than a Reaper killer. Almost an apex predator, and it has them nervous. If we could just find it, imagine the impact on the war. I'm formally requesting assistance in tracking it down. You'll have it. This is now your top priority, Doctor. Find that thing. It appears we were meant to be that assistance. Anything capable of killing a Reaper could do a lot of collateral damage. Yet given the state of this conflict, I believe the saying, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, may be relevant. But we won't know unless we can find it. Bryson's assistant did say they recently received a log from their field researcher. It may yield more information. This must be the artifact the assistant mentioned. And here's the log. Dr. Bryson, it's Garneau. I'm sending you an artifact I found. About the only thing I found there, in fact. Maybe it's nothing, but... I'd swear Leviathan came through here. I'm gonna crunch some numbers. Burn up the rest of this project travel allowance. Maybe I can project our Reaper killer's movements. I'll check in when I get to the next site. Garno appears to be our best lead to track Leviathan, but he does not state a destination. Let's focus on what he does say, then. He mentioned extrapolating Leviathan's path. And crunching numbers. He wasn't flying blind. He had data. Mm. Significant amount of data. Use me! Judging by this office. So how do we narrow it down? Bryson and his colleagues evidently used a galaxy map search program in their hunt for Leviathan. It may help us locate Garneau. Okay, so we redo an Edie. So she can.
give her power damage. We'll do weapon damage. And shield recharge. Overload we need. We'll do damage here. Recharge speed. And chain overload. That's what we'll do. All right. Incinerate is another one we need. We'll do radius. Burning damage and armor damage. Okay. Okay, so we're set up with Edie now. Okay. Now we gotta find stuff. Does this tell us where Garnome went? No, but we may be able to narrow down his location if we find clues he was using in his search for Leviathan. Okay, now it unlocks the door. Okay. Here we go. Sir, this is Bryson. We know the Reapers are after Leviathan. Studying Reaper hunting patterns could be vital to finding it. That data is classified top secret, Dr. Bryson. If it falls into the wrong hands... It won't. The data's encrypted. I'll keep the decryption key safe. Close to my heart. Close to his heart? What the hell does that mean? The Reaper fleet activity is encrypted, per Bryson's statement in the log. He said he was keeping the decryption key close to his heart. Sup, vanguard of our destruction. How's that working out for you, big guy? That... Hey, I'd mock Sovereign, too. Bryson was tracking unexplained creature sightings. Bryson was not merely tracking sightings. He was attempting to extrapolate a course. And Garneau could have been following that course. Edie, can you add a search filter for systems along that projected path? Adding the search filter, you may examine the results on the galaxy map program. Meteorite fragment, maybe? He was studying it as an object of importance. We should look more closely at a sample. Meteorite sample, with traces of element zero. Would Leviathan need Ezo? While it is not consumed as fuel during FTL travel, element zero will decay after several centuries of active use. If Leviathan is old enough, it would need to replenish its supplies. Okay. Can you give me a search filter for locations with element zero? Adding this search filter to the galaxy map. Age nine. Records indicate Anne is now 28. She works for the Alliance. Bryson was keeping the encryption key close to his heart. What's closer than family? An interesting hypothesis. But I detect no trace of the decryption key in this... art. We're 
March 7th, 2086. Uh. I'm looking at the Rakdai. Their movements during the Rakdai Wars suggest alien influence. But the timing is wrong. And Rakdai weren't implanted with Reaper tech. What if Leviathan was preparing the Rakdai to fight the Reapers? What do you think, Edie? It is possible that Bryson's team is using ancient Rachni fleet activity to find Leviathan. If we can find data on the movement of ancient Rachni ships, it may help us narrow our search. Those appear to be sightings of ships that match Rachni signatures. Can you add a cross-reference for locations of sightings? Adding the search filter now. Guy. Upstairs is one. Another piece of Anne Bryson's childhood art. Wait a minute. Well, take a look at that. I can use these numbers to construct a decryption key. All right. Let's get back to the data pad we found earlier. Systems. I have marked the Normandy map with possible locations. We can leave now, unless you wish to further narrow the search. Rachni activity. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Five possible systems. Element zero deposits. Three possibilities. These are all murders in which the accused lacked a known motive and claimed memory loss. Just like Bryson's assistant. You think Garneau was following a trail of blackout crimes? It is possible. We need to find data matching dates and locations for crimes of this nature. Here's the time and date chart for the crimes. Can you filter for murders where the killer claimed memory loss? Adding it now. Blackout crimes? No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Three possibilities. Okay, so I gotta find I always have trouble with this one Because you're supposed to find an audio log I can't find it don't know where it is That's why you see me running around in a circle like this, because you always want to search everything. Decryption complete. Analyzing data. These movements do not match the standard invasion pattern. The Reapers are searching for something. 
And I'll bet Garneau used this intel. Can you make a search filter for it? Doing so now. Okay, so there's the last um filter. That's what I was looking for. Reaper activity. We have a match. Marking the galaxy map. Okay. Let's go find Garneau. That's what you do. You don't have to get all the filters, but if you do, um, if you do, it makes this so much easier. Instead of five possibilities or three possibilities, you get the exact one. So, Yeah, yeah, I know Admiral Anderson wants to say he fucked Kaylee Sanders or something. I don't know. There's Dr. Garneau. Okay. There it is. All right. Located Garno. All right. Here we go. You do power damage. You do power damage. You do recharge speed. You do weapon ah let's take Edie and Ashley why not okay Okay, and so we need to redo Ashley. So we'll do her class first. Hey, right here. Yeah, but she doesn't use powers. That's the thing. Yeah, she's got Inferno Grenade, but she doesn't use powers. That's the thing, you know? We're 
do sniper rifle damage and assault rifle damage. That way she can do damage. Disruptor ammo, we're going to get the three. That way she has it. Marksman. Do firing rate duration then we'll do rate of fire and we'll do accuracy and fire rate there we go her inferno grenades are gonna kick ass do your radius damage there and radius and shrapnel there we go we're about five minutes out commander what exactly is on this asteroid mining facility TGS mineral works small operation could be a good place for Leviathan to hide. The doctor was right. Anything powerful enough to kill a Reaper needs to be investigated. I just hope Garneau has the answers we need. I'm reading Reaper enemy signatures in the asteroid field. Brayson said they were shadowing his field teams. If they're after Leviathan too, Reapers are a good sign. That's not something you hear every day. Take us in. Don't go anywhere, Cortez. We'll grab this guy and be right out. Keep me updated on the Reaper situation. Yes, Commander. Mm, guy. Scouting party. Sounds like the kind of party that could kill you. Took him down without a problem. Oh, but we got another brute we need to kill. Let's get Garneau before the serious troops arrive. It's got to be a nightmare for these people. Okay. Grab some ammo. troops attacking your front door. Are they still there? I've taken care of them for now. I see. That will be all. 
that will be. Hello? Hello? Yes, welcome to TGS Mineral Works. How can we help you? Yes, for the tour. Please sign in. You don't seem worried about those Reapers. You know something I don't? TGS Mineral Works is a small to mid-level supplier of tungsten to the galaxy. That's not what I meant. Are you familiar with the applications of tungsten? I'm looking for a researcher named Dr. Garneau. He would have arrived within the last couple weeks. If he's still here, I need to speak to him. We have no Dr. Garneau. Do you need to see a doctor? How about I just go in and look around? No. The access elevator is broken. And now, we're done. Step away. Step away. You don't belong here. This is so weird. Come on. Let's look around. Careful. The people seem fearful. It is difficult to determine why. Gotta fix that elevator. Malfunction detected. Elevator offline. He was living in the ducts. Excuse me. You don't belong here. Welcome to TGS Mineral Works. Proud providers of tungsten since 2162. What I miss of Mass Effect 3 is the multiplayer. Security log said Garneau took this elevator within the last week. Why lie about that? No idea. Let's hope we don't have to look too far. Have you seen Dr. Garneau? You shouldn't be here. Evolutionary implications of human biotics? What? I see a trend among the miners. They appear to be doing everything but mining. Even as the main six days for complete global starvation, the train is the more This is a restricted security terminal. A level 5 passcode is required for access. I don't have one. Access denied. Turn back. You don't belong here. Yeah. I'm getting that feeling. Code hack? Yeah, just get to the security terminal and plug it in. Well, 
wasn't there another door? Now that I'm thinking about it, wasn't there another door? No, just the video tour. Or oh, there's this one, but. Is this gonna take us where I think? No. Personnel ID. <laughs> okay. So I know we need to go back to the security console. It's just I was exploring around looking for items. dropped him off a week ago. It appears he had full access at one point before going into hiding. Hmm. Unknown male was involved in an altercation in the mines. Garnell was heading to the mines. Looks like he was taken to the med bay. Let's go get Garneau. Three six four. Access granted. Okay, here we go. There ain't nothing else here. Just some stupid meta gel, but. Sure hope not. If you are looking for Garneau, you have found him. I am Dr. Garneau. I'm Commander Shepard of the Alliance. Are you alright? Yes. Only I'm trapped in here. What's been going on in this place? I was doing my research. Until the incident. They attacked you. It's true. But aside from my confinement, I'm fine. Bryson's research led me to you. Bryson sent you? He's dead, Doctor. Killed by his assistant. I see. I need you to tell me everything you found on the Leviathan. Bryson seemed to think it killed a Reaper. It's a myth. A dead end. Doc, you mentioned an artifact in your message. I did? No. Yes, Doctor, you did. But now we've got Reaper forces attacking, so I need to break you up. We'll grab the artifact and go. Reapers. The darkness must not be breached. The darkness? Doctor?
There he goes. Leave this place. Wait! We need to get to that artifact before he does. He said it was in the mines. We'll need to find a different route. Here we go. Now, I believe we fight Reapers. I remember right. Gardo's notes gave us a nap. Point for the artifact. Maps show a service door at the next tram station. Looks like we're not the only ones headed that way. I am noticing a pattern. Despite the law of averages, we never find the Reapers moving in a direction away from us. That entire I almost missed that entire clip. Heads up! Enemies on that upper balcony! Watch our flank! Killer? Apparently I did. No, I didn't. Got rid of one. There's two. There's the door. Okay, let's find that artifact. Your ass, there we go. Ooh, cranial trauma system three. Nice, nice. What was that? Looks like the door's power supply has been cut. I'm seeing the trouble spots. Let's end in the repair drone. We'll need to escort it. Unfortunately, the drone is damaged and is on reserve power. Let's make it quick then. Stay close to 
Move to the drone! Got it. Take you. I got her. Let's head back. Door should be online. Too. All right, cool. You don't need nothing, but you do. Damage for you. Damage reduction? Why not? Okay. Okay. The artifact. Like in Bryson's office. Move! I've got a shot! Shepard, over here. What have you got? That was not Garneau. This is. It appears he's been dead for a while. So, Leviathan can have Bryson killed, can take over this colony, and he can use them as puppets. Huh. Anything else useful? Encrypted data, and a personal log with eight missed calls from a Dr. Anne Bryson. And Bryson. Who... Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm Commander Shepard. Are you alright? I think so. I feel like... I feel strange, but... Alright. Do you recognize this man? I've never seen him before in my life. Someone here killed him. Someone here? How is that possible? I'm so sorry. Can you tell me anything about what happened to you? Not really. I, uh, remember... It just seemed cold. I remember a, a feeling... Cold and dark. If dark was a feeling, that's exactly what I felt. That artifact, do you know where it came from? Came out of the mine. Right. Head office was supposed to send someone. That's about all I can... Cortez, what's your situation? Can you bring the shuttle? Affirmative. 
Strangest thing. A couple of minutes ago, the Reaper forces broke off and left. Reaper? What's a Reaper? What year do you think this is? 2176. 2176 was ten years ago. What? Let's arrange for these people to be evacuated into temporary quarantine. Ten years. They'll be in for a shock. What a mess. It now seems Leviathan not only has the power to destroy a Reaper, but possesses an indoctrination ability. Do you think it might be a Reaper? It might be. You never know. If it is a Reaper, then I want to know what it's up to. How long has it been out here? And more importantly, why? Edie, did we get anything from Gardo's notes? Yes. They suggest that Garno created a way to block the artifact's mind-affecting properties. The artifact seems to be the key. Agreed. When I head back to Bryson's office, I want you there. Yes, Commander. I want to know just what the hell these artifacts really are and what they can do. They're powerful and dangerous, that's for sure. And we've got one sitting right in the middle of the Citadel. He shouldn't need to talk to us, beings we got that pipe for him. There it is. We'll get back some of my fuel we used. All right. the probe faster than light jump successful there it is we found it we found it it's just wreckage, but we'll take it, you know. Okay. Reapers eluded. Like Roger Klotz would say, Sayonara, suckers! To Bryson's lab, we go. Just so we can get this DLC done. We need to shield the artifact they've got here right away. Using Garno's data, I should be able to accomplish this without difficulty. Damn thing's been here the whole time. Why weren't we affected? Perhaps the amount of time spent near the artifact is key. After a certain duration, it affords Leviathan an impressive mind control capability. I'd call it dangerous as hell. Bryson's assistant tried to kill me. Perhaps Leviathan was controlling him to protect itself. 
Diverting people away from its trail. Maybe. It just shows we don't know what we're dealing with yet. Despite the risk, this artifact remains our only link to finding Leviathan. Perhaps we could find more information about it here in the lab. Agreed. Bryson's team might have turned up something we missed. I'll look around. Hey, guy. They were testing the artifact for energy emissions. And found nothing. Still, I recommend leaving it shielded. Anything interesting about the artifact structure? It is not constructed of the same compounds used in standard Reaper technology. Beyond that, nothing of relevance. Hey, mm, guy. This is what I hate searching for shit. Edie, what project was Garno working on when he found the artifact? Basilisk. Got anything on Basilisk? Several ships, a mythical creature, and a rare mid-tier enemy type in the Galaxy of Fantasy video game. It possesses a gaze attack capable of triggering synced animation kills. Player forms describe it as overpowered. I meant the project, Edie. Oh. Then, no. There's got to be something here on this artifact. What about the server? Bryson's assistant wiped the office server and destroyed all backups, likely before killing Bryson. However, records show new messages on Bryson's personal comm terminal upstairs. Could be worth a look. Okay. A message from Dr. Bryson's daughter, Anne. According to my records, she worked with her father. She sounded worried. If Reaper forces were approaching, her concern was warranted. Let's hope we get to her before they do. She said she was in the Pylos Nebula, working for Project Scarab. That cluster contains several systems. I'll call it the Nebula on the galaxy map. We may also search the lab for clues to narrow down her location. Okay. Hey, now we need to search around here to find clues. Again. The Reapers. Let's hope we find Anne before they do. Can you identify this, Edie? It originates with a pre-spaceflight culture, but there are none recorded in the Pylos Nebula. Does anything in Anne Bryson's work history suggest where she might be? Nothing relevant. Any idea if Project Scarab involved Element Zero? Unlikely. We may learn more from the Project Requisitions Locker. Any correlation between Project Scarab and these unexplained creature sightings? Not beyond Leviathan itself. Anne Bryson flew out on a ship called the Icarus. Can you track its movements? No. The Reapers have disrupted civilian comm buoys. But we might learn more if we find the ship's specifications. There are specifications for several ships here. We need to find the Icarus. The Icarus. Here we go. The ship has enhanced electrostatic discharge cells. They facilitate long-range FTL travel. So they jumped to the Pylos Nebula by mass relay, then flew to another system. Yes. Otherwise, they would have chartered a less expensive ship. Okay, we can rule out the relay system. Okay. The locker is secure. We must locate an access card to open it. Access card for the requisitions locker? Yes. According to records, 
It was last used by Anne Bryson to obtain equipment for Project Scarab. Let's see what Anne Bryson requisitioned for Project Scarab. She didn't need an environmental suit. Water recycling equipment. Based on what Anne Bryson did or did not requisition, the dig site was arid but habitable. Get me a filter for systems with compatible planets. Based on the search data, it is one of these two systems. Based on the data, only one system remains a viable possibility. Good. Let's go get Anne Bryson. Okay, we got her. We got it. We can get out of here and get there. Cool. does he want? That's what I want to know. What the hell does he want? I highly doubt he wants something. I'm going to be pissed if it's nothing. Did you hear? Kelly Chambers is dead. Oh no, what happened? Cerberus found her during a citadel coup. Showed her where she stood. Oh, that's terrible. She seemed really nice. What if we'd gone back to Cerberus? Your gut saved us, Gabby. Command, good news on the installation of that thermal pipe you got us. I went right brilliant. Much better than we expected. I told you it would. It gets better. While interfacing through our ESO capacitors, our Miss Daniels here had an epiphany. I wouldn't go that far. She and Donnelly deduced some theoretical improvements to our capacitor design. Edie and I ran with it and documented our conclusions. Our core is too compact to apply our theories, but it could help the Crucible engineers. Give the word and they'll send the plans their way. Do it. Aye, aye. Well done, everyone. All right, there we go. There we go. All right. That's what he was wanting to talk to us about. Okay. Admiral Anderson is available in the war room on Fidcom. Orion's big site. There we go. dig site and Bryson's dig site because I found those filters for the program I was able to narrow it down to where she was we'll take Liara and Javik so we can redo their um, points
Pure Biotic. Recharge speed. Duration and force. I'm gonna do singularity recharge. There we go. All right, singularity. It's a good defensive power. We'll go radius. Lift damage. And detonate. There we go. Warp ammo, we'll just get to three for you. Warp we need. Detonate. Lasting damage. Ears. There we go. Basis. All right. There we go. There. I understand we have reports of an attack on a group of scientists. Right. Edie, can you tell us anything else? This is the main site of a series of excavations established under Dr. Garrett Bryson. Staff records confirm the project lead is his daughter, Anne. She has recently uncovered another artifact possibly linked to Leviathan. That discovery must have made this dig site a target. Yes. The attack means the Reapers are one step ahead of us. We need to pick up the pace. And since Bryson's daughter is our only lead, our objective is clear. Cortez? Nothing so far, Commander. If she's down there, she hasn't responded to our hails. Getting some strange signals, though. Give me a minute. The artifact she uncovered may have caused additional problems. Who knows what we'll find? Agreed. Take us in closer. Copy that. We have hostile! Take us in. Commander, on the landing platform! That's her! Commander Shepard of the Alliance Navy. We'll come to you. Yes, okay. You should take the elevator up on the far side. Copy that. We're on our way. Oh, shit. All the explosions. Ugh. Dropping down. Find a place to hide. We'll try. Get there. Stay put. Oh, that did blow. 
close it up? Okay. Watch out! I'm tired of ripping the window all the time. Look for another path. There's a ladder. Okay, I knew there was a ladder here. Okay. Die, bitch. Looks like a bridge over there. The controls are broken. Someone try to fix it. Yes, Commander. This crude wiring has failed. I'll need a moment. The bridge is operational. Raising it now. Benji! Damn, Banshee. Yeah, I was gonna say, that thing should be dead. We concentrated on it. It should be dead, man. Eh. The bridge is up! Move! That elevator can't be far! I about got it. This way. Boom! I see the elevator, Commander. Got it. The elevator's blocked. Is there another way up? I'll override the pod door near you. There's an access point above, Commander, but you'll have to climb to it. Copy that. Redoing the powers was actually a good idea. Because it seems like I'm doing more damage. Blocked. Find another way. We can make it through here. Stay hidden, Doctor. We're trying, but there's too many of them. Hurry! I wasn't expecting him. in there.
move until we get there. Gonna say, damn it, they don't want me to take down a harvester, do they? Take you. We have to go down. Yeah, it looks like it. Salvage that data. Up we go. Elevators online. We're coming up. He tried to run. I told him not to, but he wanted to help the others. Where did everyone go? I'm sorry. They didn't make it. Doctor, I need you to come with me. Oh, God. Yes, of course. I was at another dig site when they attacked. I got back as quick as I could, but what's happening? Commander, look! I'm not sure, but it might have something to do with these paintings. Is that Leviathan? Y yes Yes, we think so. It's, it's old, much older than my father thought. And there, as if the natives were under its power. Clearly a reaper. Not like any Reaper we've seen before. Doctor, I understand you found something recently. The artifact. Yes, of course. Incredible. It's just ahead. It may sound strange, but I'm certain it affects people. Their behavior. I've only had a short time to study it. Not strange at all. Did you find anything? Not much, but I did learn something about the energy it generates. Get down! Cortez, we have Ann Bryson. Need a pickup. On my way, Commander. Copy that. You see the shuttle, you run. Don't look back. Okay. Yes.
You okay? Yeah, Commander. I, I think so. I blacked out. Leviathan took control of him. You cut the connection before you got hurt. Leviathan itself? That's incredible. The Reapers seem as interested in it as we are. Yeah, it certainly seems that way. We were hoping you could help us figure out why. But first... Doctor, I have some bad news. Anne, please. Suppose Leviathan's broken away from the other Reapers. Never went back to dark space. Like a rogue. Or even a defector. I have to call my father. He'll want to know. Anne, you need to listen to me, okay? Your father... is dead. I'm sorry. He's... What? Ted? He can't be dead. We met with him. Hoping to find out what he knew. Something happened. Something happened? You're not the first to lose control. Your father's assistant. One minute he was fine, the next... He drew a gun on your father. I couldn't stop him. I can't believe this. We have to find out what's behind it all. You're the only one who can help us. Ben? I... I, I want to see his office. We'll arrange for transportation. Meet you there. Okay, back to the Citadel again. I know there's more stuff to look for, but we're not going to look for it right now. We'll look for it later. I just want to get this DLC done. I'm getting old because I used to be able to blow through this like it was nothing. Damn, nowadays though, I'm having trouble, you know? Hello? Anne, are you here? Yes, I'm sorry. Just... This is hard. Of course. Are you alright? Yes. No. I don't know. <clears throat> My father and I didn't leave things in a great state. An argument? Yes. It was trivial. A disagreement on how to file some of the specimens. I was mad about something else. I don't remember what. I took it out on him. It's so stupid. It's all right. I can come back. No, please. I'm okay. Seeing all this again. He was so obsessed. Crazy sometimes. I didn't get a chance to know him. Oh, sometimes I felt the same way. He was a great man, a pioneer, but he could be distant. I felt like an inconvenience growing up. You sound angry. 
I was angry. Still I am, I guess. But sometimes, he was so full of stories, he nearly burst. I loved that about him. It's why I signed up for this work. <laughs> I can't believe he's gone. We'll figure this out. We have to. I need to know what's on the other end of that artifact. What he died for. We need your help. You're our last chance. You're right. Let me dig into my father's work to see what I can find. Anne, you sure you're up for this? Yes. When Leviathan took control of me, I remember being somewhere cold and dark. But my father taught me to never be afraid of the dark. I thought there was something about the picture. I guess not. I'm still amazed your father got his hands on a piece of a reaper. He was so excited. Your claims validated years of work. Did you take appropriate steps to prevent indoctrination? Of course. It was completely shielded, and we all had regular psyche valves. But now, thanks to the artifact, I'm indoctrinated anyway, aren't I? Might as well be a Rachni drone waiting for orders from the Queen. You studied the Rachni? I wrote my dissertation on them. My father thought it was a waste of time, but now... It might actually help us understand Leviathan. In what way? We think of the Rachni as telepathic, but there's really no such thing. At short range, the Queen uses pheromones to give orders. At long range, she uses an organic kind of quantum entanglement communicator. Whatever Leviathan does must be similar. Entangling particles to stimulate neural activity. It uses the artifact to establish a connection, and then it controls the mind of anyone near it. Hey, loco. Need a hand? What brings you down here, James? Heard you're closing in on the Reaper Killer. Anything that can scare those bastards has to be worth a look. We didn't detect any energy emissions from the artifact. But the Reapers were able to use the artifact to trace Leviathan somehow. My theory is that most of the time, the artifact simply acts as a receiver. We'll only be able to trace Leviathan through it when it actively takes control of someone. As it did on the asteroid. Right. Unless it needs something, Leviathan doesn't bother communicating. I guess it and my father had something in common. You said Leviathan's control was similar to a quantum entanglement communicator, which is untraceable. Yes. But this isn't a natural QEC. Leviathan has to send a pulse through the artifact to alter your mind and create the quasi-QEC effect. And that can be traced. Right. Just like at the dig site, the Reapers were tracing the signal by activating the artifact. My father wanted to be at that dig site. He was getting too old for long digs, but he hated being stuck in the lab. He nearly missed my graduation because he was on a dig. Showed up still wearing his field gear. God, he'd have hated dying here. Anne, I know this is hard, but if there's anything more you can tell us... I don't think there's anything more I can tell you. But maybe I can show you. What are you saying? The artifact only sends out a signal when Leviathan's controlling someone. So let it control me. You could trace the signal. You mean let it take you over? That's too dangerous. It's my call, not yours. You said I'm your last chance to find this thing. We have no idea what will happen. If we wait, the Reapers will get to Leviathan first. I'm the only one here who spent enough time with it to do this. You're looking for something to fight the Reapers, Commander. I'm looking for the monster that murdered my father. We still don't know what we're looking for. Then let's find out. Commander, this thing we're doing with Anne sounds dangerous as hell. <sighs> Noted. Edie? Energy signature locked in. Waiting for activation. This is pretty gutsy. I don't know about guts. <sighs> Crazy, maybe. I'm gonna be right here. 
Okay. I'm ready. James, drop the containment shield. Shield is dropped. Artifact online. Anything? Nothing yet. Wait. There's something. I feel a chill. Edie? No trace yet. Holy hell! Signal is tracking. Maintain connection. Turn back. The darkness can't be breached. No! Maintain connection. Listen to me. I found you. And the Reapers are right behind me. You have brought them. You are a threat. So are you. I've seen what you can do. The war needs you. There's no war. There's only the harvest. Edie, do we have enough? Partial lock. Maintain connection to narrow the search. You heard her. We got enough. I'm hitting the shield. Relay that, Lieutenant. Signal is fading. Maintain connection. We can fight them. We can win this. The cycle cannot be broken. You're wrong. Focusing the point of origin. Maintain connection to narrow the search. I'm stopping this! Back off! Where are you? Where are you? Beyond reach. Trace complete. James! Go! Okay. Yeah. We're good. Shit. Anne? Anne, talk to me. She's a mess. Edie, did we get it? We have a location. Hang in there. Leviathan coordinates sent to the Normandy, Shepard. I hope it was worth it. It will be. I'm taking her to Med Lab. See you back on the Normandy. And here I am saving... Okay, here we go. Saving the galaxy again. A new threat. <sighs> All right, here we go. Looking for fuel, but apparently not. These coordinates match our trace of Leviathan. Okay, here we go. We need to redo Garrus.
play around with this incendiary ammo. Okay, so we get... There. That works there. We'll get his overload going. We'll do chain. Recharge. Chain overload. Armor piercing. Damage. Headshots. There we go. Proximity mine. Radius. There you go. Cortez, what's the status on the probe we launched? Tracking it now, Commander. I've confirmed that Leviathan's signal originates from this planet. Heard how, uh, Anne helped us locate it. Pretty spooky stuff. Makes you wonder what we're going to find down there. Bryson's team called it a Reaper killer. From what we've seen, it doesn't want to be found. It doesn't have a choice. We're here. Right. But then what? It plays pretty rough, and if it is a Reaper, I don't know that's the kind of help we want. Nobody says we have to be friends with it. But if this thing has the rest of the Reapers worried, then we need its help. Commander, new readings from the probe. It's narrowed down Leviathan's location. You're not gonna like it. Let's hear it. There's nothing but ocean. I show a concentration of structures floating on the surface, but the probe's giving us a signal below that. Way below. Underwater? Looks that way. The shuttle should still be able to reach it. That's possible? The Kodiak is spec to nearly a thousand atmospheres, but I've never actually tested that. Guess we're gonna find out. Some kind of pulse hit us! Systems are shutting down! Brace for impact! the shuttle, Cortez. Checking now. I'll see if I can get power. Power restored. Copy that. We'll look around. Look at all this. Whatever that pulse was, we're not the first to get hit. Could be Leviathan's last line of defense. At CSEC, they always said the key to decomposition was scavengers. Without them, it's quite a lie. Can't say I recognize any of those ships. Just how long have they been here?
Look up there. Two Reapers. They were right behind us. Protect the shuttle. Okay, we're clear. Nice work, Commander. But there's a development. We need to talk. We'll talk in a minute. We got something over here. Give me that. Ultra light materials. Hell yeah. Give that to me. Status. Shuttle's a mess, Commander. That pulse knocked it right out of the air. We're not going anywhere. Why not have the Normandy pick us up? Same thing would happen to her. And the landing won't be as pretty. I'd say Leviathan has some sort of defense system in place. And we aren't getting out of here until we find it. So how do we do that? Well, you might be able to use a mech. Looks like it's rigged for diving. I'm game. We chased Leviathan this far. Let's finish this. It's a long ways down. Not gonna sugarcoat it. I hear you. Time's wasted. Hold on a second. Are we actually considering? First, we'll need to restore power to get that cargo door open. Now. I suppose we are. These old Ballard-class ships are equipped with exterior power sockets. They use them for emergency repairs. We can strip the cells from the shuttle and use those for juice. Hang on, I'll get you started. We got a cell for you, Commander. Find somewhere to plug that in. Okay.
can hold them off, but you ain't holding off that brute. to get over here. Get you out of there and I'll do a systems check. Listen, Chip, I'm all for crazy ideas, but this one's off the charts. We've come too far to stop now. The way home is through Leviathan. Okay, SEALs check out. Oxygen pressure is nominal. Systems are a go. It's as ready as I can make it. Let's go. Take care down there, Commander. Closing hatch. Systems ready. Testing comm link. I read you. Here goes. Commencing dive in three, two, one. Looks good so far. Copy that. Cortez? Cortez!
sure if you can read me out there. Looks like I finished the major descent. Can't see much from here. Suit is holding up. Emergency systems have come online. Life support operation. Shutting down all non-critical systems to preserve remaining power. Not sure how much juice the emergency thruster will need to get me back to the surface. Can't worry about that now. Getting some strange readings from the probe. Something is definitely down there. directly below me. Looks like the final drop. Here we go. Can't see anything just yet. Keep moving. Galaxies at war with the Reapers. You defeated one. Why aren't you fighting back? There is no war. There is only the harvest. Then help us stop it. None have possessed the strength in past cycles. Your own species could be destroyed with a single thought. But you are different. I have witnessed your actions in this cycle. The destruction of Sovereign. The fall of the Collectors. Perceiving as a threat, and I must understand why. For the cycles, our kind was the apex 
other races experience. Why? You cannot conceive of a galaxy that bends to your will. Every creature, every nation, every planet we discovered became our tools. We were above the concerns of lesser species. The intelligence was envisioned as simply another tool. And now we all pay the price for your mistake. There was no mistake. It still serves its purpose. How did you remain hidden all this time? Our extermination was not complete. Some survived and found refuge in the dark corner of the galaxy. I am their progeny. Over the cycles, the thrall races were controlled, removing traces of our existence as we directed them to. In this way, our survival was kept secret from the Libras. Today, we reach out for the fragments and watch for discovery. Fragments? You mean the artifacts we found? They provide a window into the galaxy. Tools for exploring the events of this cycle for the safety of this world. Through them, we watch, we study, and remain in the shadows. How did the intelligence defeat you? To find a solution, it required information. Even if you survive the battle today, the Reapers won't stop. Ever. Release me and we have a chance to end this, once and for all. They're fighting where you should be. It's clear why the Reapers perceive you as a threat. Your victories are more than a product of chance. We will fight, but not for you or any lesser race. We were the first at the Apex race. We will survive. And the Reapers who trespass on this world will understand our power. They will become our slaves.
Shepard, wake up. He's freezing. <coughs> you okay? <coughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Hell of a headache. We're lucky we got you back. How did it go down there? We found it. It's real. And a lot more than we ever imagined. So was it worth almost dying for? It was. We exposed it. Pushed it into the light. Whether it likes it or not, it's a part of this war now. And it's gonna help fight. That's incredible. Yeah. One for the history books. Commander, I finished reading your report. The Alliance wanted more intelligence on the Reapers. I'd say we got it. Our people will be studying it for years to come. They're already calling it the Leviathan Codex. It rewrites galactic history as we know it. Whatever else it means, it tells me the Reapers had a beginning. And maybe now we'll provide them with an end. That's one way to look at it. I guess it's the only way. So go out there and make it happen. This is a big step in the right direction, Shepard. Good work. Thank you, sir. Hack it out. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available on VidCom. Okay, so we got the Leviathan DLC done, so that's going to be it for this video. Again, sorry I didn't talk much, it's just the ADHD. So anyway, um, I'll see y'all in the next video. Hope y'all had fun, I did. See y'all in the next video.